So the second question, using the property of determinants and without expanding, prove that this determinant value is equal to 0. Here also we are not allowed to expand and we have to apply property of determinants. Again, I am going to take the left side. A minus B, B minus C, C minus A, B minus C, C minus A, A minus B, C minus A, A minus B and B minus C. What I am going to do is, I am going to change R1 changes to R1 plus R2 plus R3. What I did is, I am going to change R1 plus R2 plus R3. Why I change this? Because sixth property says that if I add a multiple of a row or a column to another row or column, the determinant value remains the same. Here I am adding 1 into R2 plus 1 into R3 to R1. So the determinant value remains the same. So this will be equal to First row is changing, second row remains the same, B minus C, C minus A, A minus B, C minus A, A minus B, B minus C. What about the first row? A minus B plus B minus C plus C minus A, isn't it? A minus B plus B minus C plus C minus A. That will be the first element. What about the second element? B minus C plus C minus A plus A minus B. And the third element will be, you have to write in a lengthy way, I, as I don't have the space, I am writing like this. Okay, C minus A plus A minus B plus B minus C. Again, what will be the value? Here minus B and my, plus B get cancelled, A and minus A get cancelled, C and C get cancelled, giving you the first row, first element as 0. Here also B minus B get cancelled, minus C, C get cancelled, minus A, A get cancelled, giving you second element also as 0. Here also C and minus C get cancelled, minus A and A get cancelled, B and minus B get cancelled, leaving the value as 0. Second row remains the same, B minus C, C minus A, A minus B. Third row C minus A, A minus B, B minus C. Again what we can do is, first row completely is 0. So just to think about the expansion, when we expand, what we do is, we will take the first element and avoid the row and column containing 0. We will multiply the main diagonal elements minus off diagonal elements. However big the element is, 0 into this number will be 0. In the second case also, minus 0 into we will avoid the row and column and we will again multiply the main diagonal and off diagonal. Then also 0 into that number will give you 0. And again, third case, or third element also has the same condition, 0 into some number will give you the value 0. So, come to the conclusion that if one row, all the elements of a row or all the elements of a column are 0, without expanding, we can directly write the answer as 0. Okay? If one row contains all elements as 0 or one column element is 0, without expanding, simply write the determinant value as 0. Hence, we prove that LHS is equal to 0.